Meditation mindfulness powerful tools, but I'd say the process, and I, and I want to be as tactical and strategic as we can. The thing is to get really close to that fear. So what we usually do embrace is it. embrace it, get close to it, get intimate with it. We become the bat. <laughs> Sit we, in the bat cave. Literally, literally, yeah. And embrace the fear. Totally. Yeah. We run away from fear. We like to run away and go, oh, it's not coming with me. And Or what we do is we hear one thing and we define the whole understanding of our fear based on that one thing. Yes. So it's like someone, and I'll give you a normal example in a normal life scenario. Yes. Someone says to you in the office, you know that, you know that they're going to cut a few people. And you don't even check. You don't even know. Real? And now you just made it real and now you're running with it and you're trying to run away from it. So you're trying to avoid conversations with your boss. You're trying to avoid any conflict. You're trying to, you know, you're just, you're just, you're just trying to avoid it. And so actually what you need to do is go, okay, let me actually discover that fear. Let me go intimate with that fear. Let me ask myself, where's that fear coming from? What am I really scared of? What am I really scared of? Am I really scared of losing my job? Am I scared of not having any money? What am I really scared of? And when you get to the root, and I call it the why ladder in the book. Mm -hmm. So it's asking yeah. yourself, what am I scared of? And then go, why am I scared of this? Why am I scared of this? Why am I scared of this? And when you can't ask why any longer, you've got to the answer and that's what you have to deal with. Most of us are not dealing with what we're actually scared of. So that's how you let go. Yeah. You let go by keep asking yourself. So I'll give you an example of mine. Like if, if I heard that or if you hear that in your office that people are getting cut, it's like you just get scared and panicked. But the question is, why am I scared of that? Am I scared of that because I haven't been working hard for six months? Am I scared of that because I've been skipping meetings? Am I scared of that because I know my boss will probably fire me first? Or am I scared because I've been performing really well and I'm expecting a promotion? Knowing which one it is sets you up to build the path forward. Yeah. Not knowing that just puts you in this panic frenzy.